let's go over shutdown. So the shutdown instructions will always be in the room on the other side of the startup instructions. So let's go through step by step. The first step is to clean oil objectives if used. Um, I already cleaned them um, previously, uh, and there's a video that explains how to apply and clean oil, so you can look at that for how to do it. Uh, the next step is to switch to the 10x objective. We always want to leave the system on the 10x objective, so we do that here through this touchscreen. We're going to go to 10x. The next step is to exit Zen, step number three. So we do that by Xing out here at the top right. And when we do that, it will ask if we want to save the snap and preview images, if we did any tiling. And it will also typically ask if we have a lot of, um, uh, if we have a lot of images, whether we want to save them. So you also saw um, here that there was, a, there was a, a dialog box that said, don't turn off the hardware until this dialog box disappears. So please pay attention and do that. If you don't, uh, you'll screw things up for the next person. Um, the next step is con to connect a server, copy the files, and disconnect from the server. So you do that as described here by going to this PC. This is slightly different, but it's the same idea. You go to map network drive, you select the server that you want, which can be uh, our server or uh, your lab server. You'll need to get the address. I've already done that, so you, this is what this, our server looks like. If you go in there, you'll see that there is a users folder. Inside the users folder, there is one uh, folder for each user of the lab, uh, and that folder is named um, based on their um, onion. And so if you are, for example, this person, you can get into this folder and uh, save, delete, do whatever you want inside that folder. So you would move your data from the user data folder. This is a local folder on this computer. You would move it to a server. Uh, which would be this, so that then you can get it from your lab. Now, keep in mind that the MSL server is for temporary storage only, so you'll need to come up with your own permanent storage solution, and that can just be as simple as a server uh, that UNC provides um, onto which you save your data. Okay, so once you're done copying data over, you can disconnect from the server by right-clicking and saying disconnect. Don't pay attention to that. So now we're going to check the calendar and see if anyone is booked within the next two hours. So to do that, you're going to open Google Chrome. Uh, that will eventually, uh, I haven't created the calendar yet as of the recording of this video, but when, it, when you open Google Chrome, it will default automatically to the calendar. You'll be able to see whether there's someone after you within the next two hours. So if the answer to that question is, no, um, excuse me, yes, uh, you will log out of the kiosk and you're done. So you leave everything else on. If the answer is no, if there uh, is not anyone after you within the next two hours, you continue with a checklist. So first you log off the computer, you do not shut it down. So to log off the computer, you go click here on this Windows icon, you click on Lupin's face and say sign out. Then you turn off the component switch, which is number three. So we go over here, components, number three, we turn that off. We turn off the system switch, which is number two, over here. We turn off the excite lamp, which is number one, and turn the intensity dial down. So we go here and turn this off and turn the intensity dial down. We cover the microscope stand, so there'll always be a dust cover inside here, and we log out of the kiosk. And then we're done. As always, let me know if you have any questions.